The Champions League is back this week, starting Tuesday, and it's the round of 16. Let me remind you the teams that are still in the competition. Leipzig, Manchester City, Club Bruges, Benfica, Liverpool, Real Madrid, AC Milan, Tottenham Hotspurs, Frankfurt, Napoli, Dortmund, Chelsea, Inter, Porto, PSG, and Bayern Munich. By country, England, we have Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham. They still have four out of four. Germany, they only have two. Bayern Munich and Frankfurt. Italy, three teams. Inter, Napoli, and AC Milan. Spain, only one team. Real Madrid. Portugal, two teams. Benfica and Porto. France, one team. PSG. All right, so this week we're gonna only have four games, and other four games are gonna take place next week. So, starting this Tuesday, February 14th, 2023, AC Milan against Tottenham Hotspurs. This one is very tough because there are two struggling teams here. Tottenham not really doing that good. They've been like yo-yo team. They will beat one big team here and lose against an, a, another team that is smaller. So we don't really know. Hugo Loris is injured and going to be out for weeks. AC Milan also been having their own issues. Poor form, a lot of injuries. And that is going to be very, very interesting game. But I will predict 2-1 for AC Milan because they are playing home and the fans are going to push them to win that game. Let's move on to the second game on Tuesday between PSG and Bayern Munich. Also, PSG are struggling like seriously. After the World Cup, they already lost four games. Three of them in the league and one of them in the in the league in the cup league or something like that so four games already can you believe it with all the quality that they have but also they had a very poor transfer window they couldn't get anybody and they even you know missed out on Hakim Ziyech the last minute Mbappe is gonna is not gonna be there he's injured and uh, from Bayern Munich I think they they are they are stronger uh, Mane is back in training at the moment, but not sure if he's going to be fit for the game. So, huh, this game is going to be very tough in Paris, Parc de Prince, in front of Altras. I think PSG are going to just nick it 2-1 at the end. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be tough, but because they are playing in front of their fans... Messi still on the pitch, Neymar still on the pitch. Regardless of injuries and everything they are having right now, I think PSG are going to push and win at the end 2-1. Let's now go and talk about the games on Wednesday. The first one is going to be between Club Bruges and Benfica. Club Bruges really surprised many, many people this season. Um, oh my goodness me. I think this one is going to be a draw. Mm -hmm. I see a 2-2 two -two draw at the end. Unfortunately for Club Bruges because Benfica, I know that they lost uh, Enzo Fernandez, but they're still a very good team. 2-2 two -two at the end. And the last game is going to be between 
Dortmund and Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea not doing good. Dortmund are picking up right now. Okay? They have Jude Bellingham, Gio Reyna, and all the boys. Even Yusufa Mukoko that can give Chelsea some trouble. Hmm. This one is very, very tough. I see it as a 1-1. One, 1-1 one, one, one draw. Yeah. That is me being realistic here, but... We all know that Chelsea Football Club are really poor at the moment. They have a bunch of superstars, but they are not a team yet. So it's going to be a draw. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Jude Bellingham to score <laughs> for Dortmund and Joao Felix for Chelsea Football Club. Leave your comment and let's keep the conversation going.